Arctic. Covering most of northern Canada, it is a realm of great natural beauty, wildlife, and vast resources. As mechanical engineers, there are many things we can do to help further explore and develop this frozen oasis. Mechanical engineering principles can be used to solve many of the challenges we have in Arctic development. Two major challenges are exploration and exploitation. If guided by the correct principles, the Arctic region can serve as an abundant resource supply which we can use both economically and environmentally to further our society. One of the many challenges faced in exploring the Arctic is the harsh climate. Basic temperatures averaging around 0 degrees Celsius in the summer and below 30 degrees Celsius in the winter, coupled with deep, unbelting banks of snow and moving tundras of ice. These conditions will stop many of the machines used to explore other regions of the world in seconds. Mechanical engineers' knowledge of solid dynamics and thermodynamics can lead us to solutions for these problems. We can develop the next generation of machinery, better equipped to cope with these conditions. We need to engineer machines that are lighter and can glide across loose snow, giving us better ability to maneuver around the unpredictable conditions and allowing us mobility in the region. We must develop aircraft that can travel, land, and take off from isolated regions year-round. These will be needed to transport people and resources to and from work sites. To deal with the freezing temperatures, we will need to use our knowledge of thermodynamics to develop processes that save the heat we produce, and instead of letting it off as waste, use it to warm buildings, machines, and plants required for development of the Arctic. Once we have developed ways to get into, out of, and around the Arctic region, we can begin harnessing it. It is rich with resources such as uranium, iron, gold, copper, nickel, natural gas, and oil. These resources are primarily untapped because they are largely inaccessible. However, if we are able to get at them through advances in mechanical engineering, the issue becomes more environmental. We will have to deal with the delicate balance of nature which we could easily disrupt in the region. However, these issues are not unique to the Arctic and are controversial around resource production in all regions of the world. As mechanical engineers, we could use the controversial position of Arctic development as a pressure on ourselves to truly optimize the new designs and processes that will inevitably be needed to exploit resources in these harsh conditions. We can and must optimize them to run at peak efficiency with minimal environmental impact and incidents. We can use our vast knowledge of mechanical engineering to set the highest standards in our work, which will be vital in convincing workers, corporations, and society as a whole of the benefits of Arctic resources over other sources. The benefits include the scale of resources found here, which doesn't occur in many places in the world. The resources here are both abundant and diverse. It also limits deforestation, which is necessary for mining and oil operations in many parts of the world. However, inversely, it leads us into new challenges. We will have to find ways to remove the snow and ice covering the resources we want to get at, which has been built up for possibly hundreds of years. Once this is accomplished, we will still have to deal with the frozen ground, in which the minerals we want to get at are contained. We could invent a process to warm up the ground using our waste heat instead of letting it off into the environment. This may lead us into a shorter season of the year in which we can work in the Arctic region and efficiently export resources. It will also develop new hazards for both people and equipment. We are not new to challenges such as these as mechanical engineers, and we are well equipped to deal with them. We can develop machines to deal with the harsh circumstances in which they will be utilized. We can utilize technology developed by mechanical engineers in other regions of the world, like the snow removal technology used vastly across Canada. We can also deal with the frozen ground in many ways. We could utilize better machines which are more able to cut through frozen dirt and rocks. We could cycle our production so that the warmer months are used to break ground while the colder are used to develop it. In summary, mechanical engineering principles will be vital for the development of the Arctic. Using them, we will be able to explore and exploit the Arctic for the betterment of society.